Today, we're gonna to take a look at the machines that the NHS R&D Lab uses to test bearings. Bearings are a critical component to a skateboard. Without them, you can't roll. The NHS R&D Lab uses four tests to measure the speed and durability of all bearings, ours and our competitors. For the first test, we use the wheel dynamometer, also known as the speed machine. The wheel dynamometer can determine the speed of a set of test bearings. The test bearings are mounted in a standardized wheel that is used for all bearing speed tests. The wheel is placed into the machine. The operator starts the test. The machine slowly and in a precise series of steps ramps the speed up to 300 RPM. When the set speed is reached, the computer releases the drive motor and immediately begins to count the revolutions of the massive grinding wheel as it slowly coasts to a stop. That revolution information is fed into a database. The bearings are tested three times and the average of the three tests become the speed rating for that bearing. The machine is accurate down to one tenth of one percent. For the next step in the bearing test process, we use the dust storm aging machine, also known as the bearing haboob. A dust storm chamber is loaded with silicon carbide dust. It is very nasty in there. The test bearings are placed into a standardized wheel and fixed so the wheel cannot spin, but the axle and bearings can spin while the chamber lid is closed. The goal of this machine is to subject the bearings to a highly abrasive road dust, similar to what you would collect in weeks of riding. This test is 20 minutes long. The third step in the bearing test process uses the cycling impact tester, also known as the wheel bearing breaker, or even Bam Bam. The cycling impact tester is a 12 inch diameter wheel with two and a quarter inch high blocks mounted at the 12 and six o'clock positions on the wheel. A precision speed controller keeps the motor at a set RPM when running. A wheel is mounted on the machine with the test bearings. Spring cords provide the weight to ensure the wheel and the bearings receive a steady impact. This test is run for 20 minutes at an RPM of 50 with a total of 2000 impacts. The impact tester applies forces to test the bearings to break down bearing cages and seals or shields. After the extensive beating is a retest of the speed of the bearing, which means back to the speed machine. The wheels are once again tested three times and the average of the three tests are used to determine how much of the bearings degraded from start to finish. Click here to check out more NHS R&D Lab videos.